On this random acts of kindness day, we're meeting a Chicago woman who makes hundreds of six course meals every week for people experiencing homelessness. Please welcome Karen Nakamowski. Karen. Hi, Karen. Your kitchen is stunning just, and your island is legend. We are ashamed of ourselves. Your island is just, it's an island. It does not always look like this. Yeah, wow. I was gonna say, I was like, she can't be cooking those meals in that kitchen because- Oh, no, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, my dining room? Yeah, no, this does not always look like this. Tell us about your soup kitchen and how this whole thing came to fruition for you. Sure, um, it was really a middle of the night, 3 a.m. idea. At the time, I had um, created my own cooking blog, mamachef.com, and it had been around for about a year. It was blowing up. I had tens of thousands of followers. I was writing um, articles, sharing my recipes with dozens of online uh, publications. My recipes are all quick and easy. I think it really resonated with parents. I had three boys at home. I was super busy. I just felt like something was missing. And I, and I had no idea what that was um, until I woke up in the middle of the night around 3 a.m. I mean, you guys know, you wake up, you have these like worries, crazy thoughts. Usually by the morning, they're gone. Um, this one was, I want to start a soup kitchen. I want to feed people in need. I woke up. I said, this, I'm going to do this. Um, yeah, those oh, are our meals. I mean, they look wow. gorgeous, those meals. They, really? Thank you. Yes, they are. We do really, really nice meals. These are student volunteers who come. Um, I found a place who donated their space, Congregation Kins in Chicago. Um, I knew the area. I knew there were a lot of people in need. Um, I did fundraisers. All the meals come from uh, my recipes since they're quick and easy. That's what we needed. And four months later, uh, Mama Chef's Soup Kitchen was born. And how many meals have you uh, prepared since you've opened the soup kitchen? Do you have keep track of that data? Um, yeah, we do actually. We've prepared over 20,000 meals. Oh my God. Um, wow. Which has been amazing. We're all volunteer based. Really the most daunting um, aspect of this was getting the volunteers. Um, I, a friend of mine came on, another Karen came on as my volunteer coordinator. And we knew we needed 600 volunteers the first year. And I remember thinking like, there's no way. How are we getting 600 people to come and volunteer? Within two months of opening up our sign up sheet, we had a six month waiting list of people that who wanted oh, to. Oh, that is great. Karen, wow. this is such a, it's such a great story. You're doing such great work. We have a surprise for you. So today we partnered with Jurgen's Natural Glow to celebrate Random Acts of Kindness Day. We want to honor all that you are doing and give you $5,000 to keep spreading <laughs> kindness throughout your community there. What a great story. Thank you for coming on, Karen. Great to meet you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Really appreciate it. Bye-bye. We love your island. I know. I want to go and have mm -hmm. dinner there. We'll be right back here <laughs> on Live. In honor of Random Acts of Kindness Day, Live has partnered with Jergens Natural Glow Lotion to remind you that a simple act of kindness can turn someone's day from gloomy to glowing. Jergens Skincare has teamed up with La La Land Kind Cafe, a coffee shop normalizing kindness, to give away free coffee and Jergens Natural Glow Lotion to help spread the glow.